What is going on everyone? Riddick here and welcome to Off the Shelf Air Guns. Today we got the Sig Sauer P320 pellet pistol. We're going to see what we think. Alright, we got the Sig Sauer P320 pellet pistol. There it is right here. I think it looks cool, for sure. Slide is metal, lower is polymer. This is your safety right here. It's a little tough to move. There's your safety right there. Mag release. This does not function as far as I know. You can probably take this apart, but you can't just simply take it down like you would the real modern firearm counterpart. Okay. Slide is basically useless as far as its purpose. It's just to mimic the blowback. So just know that it's not going to really serve a purpose here. Uh, you see it is CO2. Like I said, CO2, 12 gram CO2 goes in right there. Don't forget your Pell gun oil. Don't forget your Pell gun oil. And you just, it already has the key right on the bottom. Don't have to fumble around with any Allen keys or anything like that, which is nice. Okay, magazine comes right out. This is what the magazine looks like. Okay, show you here. It opens like this on the back. It's a little, little tough to get open. There we go. And it's a belt fed pellet, 177 caliber pellet. Anytime I can have a pellet air pistol, I'm on top of it. Regardless if, you know, Sig Sauer is hit or miss with their products, I'm definitely up for trying a pellet pistol. They claim up to 380 FPS with this. And today we are going to be using the RWS R10 match. Been using these lately and I kind of like them. So that's what we're using today. All right, here we go. The Sig Sauer P320. I'm going to start just plinking. That's really pretty much all we're going to do in this video. And see what we got here. Like I said, I am when I'm doing pistol stuff, I'm a little closer to everything than I am when I'm doing rifle stuff. Here we go. See what we got. Oh, it kicks back pretty good. Gotta get a hold of it. There we go. Okay. Let's go for the other saw blade out there in the middle. Good ways away. All right, I hit it. Okay. About that round black gong out there. No, can't hit that one. Not hitting that one. <laughs> that is a little smaller than the. It's about saw blade size. Let's try the. Let's try the black diamond. Go for the gold. Gonna have to really lob it. Nope. <laughs> it's not going to make it out there, folks. It's just not. Yeah, we're still good. That definitely ain't the problem. Ah, hit the little tinker there. <laughs> A little patinky. About that green spinner. I hit it. Don't move very much. It's not putting out a lot of power. Got this blue bottle over here. Oh, I might be out. Let's find out. Yep. Let me load this back up and we'll get back at it. All right, we got this thing loaded back up. Let's keep going. Go out there, we're gonna try the black diamond again. Come on. Ha, there we go. All right, all right, we got it, we got it. I don't want to push my luck too much. Definitely. Yeah, it, it's a full trigger pull. No matter what you do, you can't let it out halfway and do and keep going. That's not going to happen. I can tell that already. I got a couple things to say about this one when we're done. Nothing too bad, but not the greatest thing in the world either. Oh. 
just ain't gonna hit that one. Let's try the black diamond again. Ah, got lucky. Nope, not happening. There we go. Okay. Okay. Try this bottle in the tree again. There it is. There it is. Nope, not hitting that one. See, I, I can tell that, uh, oh yeah. CO2 is weakening already. We're going to talk about that here in a second. I think I'm out. Yep. Okay. Let's talk about this. I like it. Okay. I do like it, but. I almost wish the slide wasn't a blowback. And the reason I say that is because it's serving no purpose here other than, you know, the function of, hey, it's blowing back, okay? I mean, if it didn't blow back, then, I mean, you have this, it holds so many that by the time you're done, by the time you get to two mags, you're already weakening on CO2. Whereas if it, if it didn't blow back, it would last so much longer. So that is one little gripe I have. I'm going to echo what others have said. Slide, kind of annoying because all you're doing is just wasting CO2 at that point. You're not getting even the real full effect. You can't field strip this. You can probably take it apart, but like I said, not like the modern firearm counterpart. Still, pretty accurate, pretty cool. Getting way out there at the Black Diamond, eh, not so much. We did hit it once, which is good. It's always nice when you can pull that off. Trigger. Kind of heavy, and it is it, what it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? There's no, you can't let it out halfway and get that little single action going on. Nope. It's one pull and one pull only. I don't know if I mentioned it's got a little pick rail there on the bottom. If you're gonna do anything like that. But at the end of the day, I do like it. I do like it. It's just it's gonna eat up a lot of CO2, given the. Uh, function of it and this is great i love this belt fed magazine that's pretty cool you definitely want to get extras of those if you're going to get this because you're going to get annoyed sitting there filling that every magazine so <laughs> but still not bad but definitely not the greatest thing in the world uh, you know yeah i'm just i'm a little hung up on the slide being the way it is and the trigger Trigger's not terrible though. I, I didn't have any problems, it's just a little heavy. Nothing crazy. But for training, plinking purposes, things like that, uh, people are gonna find a lot of use out of it for that, for sure. Uh, it's great at close distances, up to 20 yards. You're gonna be right on the money. Obviously we were pushing it to the limit, way past the limit it should go, but just wanted to see what it would do, right? So yeah, there you go. So there it is, the Sig Sauer P320 pellet pistol. I love, I love the fact that it's a pellet pistol and belt fed, that's really cool. Get a lot of uh, rounds out of it, you know. But I would change some things on it that we talked about. Does that hinder the enjoyment of it? Not really, it's just, you're definitely gonna wanna get extra mags for sure because you're gonna get annoyed at loading that thing up every time. Still cool though, I love that. You know that it, it has that kind of magazine that's really cool and uh very accurate very accurate it, you know at closer ranges 20 yards i'd say 25 is going to be the most you would want to go with it so but we're going to test more with it down the road we're going to see how it performs long term of course all that good stuff so yeah pretty much all i got to say about that but that's it catch you all down the road